So, um, as our nation continues uh, to recover from the recent financial crisis and certain credit markets remain locked, as we know, Congress must examine new and innovative ways to encourage the return of private investment to our capital markets. We must also consider creative ways to enable the private sector to provide additional mortgage, consumer, commercial, and other types of credit as well. And so I believe establishing a U.S. covered bond market would further these shared policy goals. So today we are here to examine legislative proposals to establish a covered bond market here in the U.S. On this past Tuesday, uh, my good friend, the gentlewoman from uh, New York, Ms. Maloney, and I introduced H.R. 940, which is the U.S. Covered Bond Act of 2011. The legislation sets the foundation, if you will, for a U.S. covered bond market, and it does so by creating a regulatory framework and then detailing the exact process that occurs if an issuer fails. Now, one reason that I'm particularly interested uh, with covered bonds is the fact that they can be a purely private means, if you will, of finance in this area without government guarantees or subsidies. Now, many proposals will help alleviate the current strains in our credit market, and alternatives will focus on government loans or guarantees. But I believe that covered bond legislation offers an alternative, a way for the government to provide additional certainty to private enterprises and generate increased liquidi liquidity through the innovation of a new marketplace, if you will, without putting the taxpayers on the hook. Now, there are many potential benefits for a wide variety of interested parties that can be derived from the U.S. covered bond market. Uh, there are about four of them that I can list. Consumers will experience lower lo loan rates because of the additional liquidity in the marketplace and the various asset classes as well. Consumers will also be able to more easily have their loans modified, which we see as an issue right now, because the loans will still be on the balance sheets of the originating institutions. Thirdly, investors will have a new and transparent and secure vehicle to invest in, and this will allow for additional diversification within their portfolios. And finally, the broader financial markets will benefit, how? By having an additional, low-cost, diverse funding tool for financial institutions. So covered bonds will ensure a more stable and longer-term liquidity in the credit markets, which reduces financing risk as well as exposure to the sudden changes in interest rates and investor confidence. And finally, they will allow U.S. financial institutions to once and for all to compete more effectively against their global peers. So I look forward to the witnesses of, uh, at our table today. And right now, I yield to the ranking member.